Greetings to everybody who's watching. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I've last uh, recorded a video for you guys. Uh, today I would like to touch on the issue of trust. There's always a trust deficiency. Uh, with spiritual children and illos, which is their ancestors. And I would like to narrate three stories, uh, my own personal story, and an indirect and direct experiences of other stories that I've been involved with. Back in the day, I went to initiation school, which is the Sangoma Initiation School. Uh, in Dwaso ancestral training to be precise. And in later years, uh, when I left Ugobela, uh, I was already practicing at that particular time. Uh, my things were stuck. I was depressed. Everything that of mine, money, career, jobs, you may say it, I've sent thousands of business proposals and I will never get a reply. Send thousands of uh, of CVs, I will never get a reply. Uh, relationships were collapsing. Friendships, friends were leaving me one by one. I was so depressed that even a month, M. Samo, I will make a hundred grand. On a good month, I would make a 500 grand. And I was unemployed. I was buried in depression. I was suicidal. I contemplated a number of times to commit suicide. And I couldn't understand for the life of me that I've done everything right, was wise. I've committed myself into this path. But my things are not opening up. My things are not going the right direction. It cut deep, deep. And I started having resentment towards it loss. I started hating it loss. I started having thoughts of quitting even practicing. Everything I will blame it a, 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 a losing. Right in an ancestor's for, uh, 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 door, uh, doorsteps. It was then, during that period... You, you know when you have nothing at all. And even if you are partial, you're crying in some. Upindu zitenge wa wenu zilungi sumo ya wako. Upinde, ubuyele. Go driving seat. Oh yeah. This loves work. Now, during that period, I realized that no man, this is not what Ilos is doing. The valley where he ex I am. Literally, my ex Gobella blocked me. Blocked Abe Guli from coming in. Blocked any job that I could get. Blocked any proposal that I sent in Gabon blocked any form of formidable relationship. In fact, why funan belly law law thing I've been armed with Alin Guam. And the biggest is it treat was in the house street was a mapuba. It's treat was a mapuba it's so deadly that someone will dream gawe um lawyer but you not actually our lawyer go lawyer but lambdu ya poopa and the funny and the most not even funny, actually. The most pl plausible thing is that Lamdu Loana saw the Agalele at no I dreamed when I was a lawyer. Instead, there will be a change in behavior. Because obviously, he, he wouldn't confess that no one would be a job. Then all of a sudden, friends, one by one, family, they distance themselves. It's street was a poop. And how is street was a poop? A person will dream something about you that is false. 
it will feel real. You will feel it here when you wake up that it is real, but it is not. And you will believe it. I remember a friend of mine had experienced that. One pauper, the lawyer. And she never told me. Then she consulted Sangomaya in Joburg and said, Aman, can you look at Ugajin, the Mpubel shop? And the Sangoma confirmed Ugajin had nothing to do with this. Ugajin Nagalui. It's just that those who are after him, Bamakelanga Mapupa, Bamkitanga Mapupa. Then she came back to me and confessed. And I respected her actions for going the extra mile and finding out from a third person that is this real or not. And the biggest part that I respected, she's a Sangoma, and Sangomas, they quickly believe in their dreams. They, some of them, they struggle to differentiate between a street of and the actual dreams. So in most cases, if it was any average Sangoma, Sasa would believe in Lapupa and quickly distance himself or herself to me without getting in any opinion. I respected that about that woman and I am still tight with her even now. Sistrito Sama Pupesu. And in mostly people are in Zluani. It's Luane Naso and Apsik Pupi Sagwasona. Sigwenza Listrito Sama Pupa. But moving right along to my next point that I wanted to touch on. That was the connection and yourself. People, they always want to double check. They always want to confirm I've touched this before. And I think I've made this point before. Forgive me those who have watched it. Uh, so, as I was saying prior, prior Ugobela Wamu, Uma ex Gobela, Jengbawa in lawyer and because of jealousy, I went to every Sangoma around, went as far as Jobek. And I remember I went to Soweto and I was with consulting with this lady and one nigga mate. And on that day, the Pupa go to know the help that you want, the help that you want, you want to get it in the same gobela or better. In the same gobela or gloria, you have to go back there. Now that is danger. That is danger. And I'm getting this dream after I've consulted more than 10 people, after I've wasted so much money in trying to do cleansing and all of that stuff, I think I've wasted more than 15K. If it's more, that I'm 100%. So, that was scary for me because now I have to go back to this Cobella. I have to go back to this Cobella and I'm in danger because Lombian lawyer. By the time I get there, I might not come out. But I trusted them at Luzwam. And they were very specific that go there on a Saturday between 3 and 4. And they gave me the date. They said, you shouldn't be there after one minute past four. You shouldn't be there one minute before three in the afternoon. And I consulted a number of friends of mine, asking them for an advice. But it dawned on me that Ahmad Luzwam made me dream this. They know what they are doing. Yes, I'm going to a lion's den, but I've got to trust them. I've got to really trust them. And I did. I went there, a friend of mine dropped me Korapas 3. And they were specific in the dream. They said, Homa, this guy, pay this guy 500 rand, go figure him some, which that's all we afford. And secondly, I request a particular person, and they gave me that person's clan name. But I request a umchawe akutlambe ngugwak, akkeleliya zangugwak. I didn't know umchawe. Because it has been years since I left. So I went there, got there, found this guy, Ageko my Kobela, at that time. So on that 
this is 500 rand i need help what ga iqala ukuthi ufuna no mixer lama yes that no ukuthwe manhlanje ngomtshawu what you amazi lomtshawu that no one must can mboniswa phupin what he kukho mtshawu oyi wana apho wamkhwaza that it's fine maka nhlambe yena wani sehlathi into ohlamba that was quarter past 3 up until 5 to 4 5 to 4 ndahamba naphuma ndahamba ndamfonel my ex go bela no i was there eh uh, i left to 500 rand and go to monday maybe before 4 Google did I'm there I, oh, I was there she got he got excited and he thought I, I was still there but immediately said I left the change in in his tone it was so tragic to describe he was disappointed and he was a bit angry so the moral of that mnanzalo machawi so I'm not losing my new mna going there from three o'clock up until four o'clock the guy will not be there which is the ex gobel and they were specific i should the human the 500 rand and they were specific again man sandro mchawe the zaluma chawin so they knew what they were doing but if it was somebody else going back again into a lion's den to a person who have caused you this problem kutwa years ala kol sepan elil zak vula umdu was gonna think and think and think and question the map power and question lord at no one's good i trusted it was ndaliyeka la leader because sometimes our internal conflict deprive us of letting it was leads then it ends up us having not solution having no solutions at all fast forward uh, i don't want to make this video very long i remember a friend of mine was told ba when are you better usile umqombodi she was living in a complex like your santin complex what of na kusile umqombodi what no why can't the sile umqombodi apha i flat in i need to go back to the rural areas ndo sile apha kwathwa sile umqombodi apha start as mela ngumqombodi the whole week and she came to me for an advice and i said to her they told you what to do they told you see la umqombot you need to do that yes it has never been done before whereby you have witnessed umdo see la umqombot in a shared space which is a shared flat in santin and i said trust amaluzu wakho don't question them yeah and was it umqombot was a success after that the gym amaluzu abulel Lastly, another close friend of mine, Yasila Ngoku, I'm attending umcimbi wakhe. Amadlozo wakhe was specific, start umsebenzi wakho at 9 in the morning. Boom, they were specific. Now she said, "No, Ekaya, we have never started a ceremony at 9." Uh, let me pass and confirm because the dream was not clear and I said it was clear. Don't second guess it. start umkomboti at 9 we really have a tendency of questioning our own dreams sometimes or our own messages of our own instincts of our own intuition we need to trust the lozen we need to listen more to lozen and the reason some of us are depressed it's because of we want to lead we so used to be independent that we struggling to let it lose leads let illos lakho leads if you don't have money for supper tomorrow trust the lozini kuqa ngedolo unqumule then everything will fall back into place there's a twasalam and then lens alum sebins and this guy is getting paid on the 20th for instance for seven years always has been getting paid on the 20th but ngala day sends umsebenzi on the 18th salary yakhe angena on the 17th o two ganai how come how possible cuz it was even if you don't have money ngawo sends umsebenzi it was will provide it was will do the unthinkable we need to trust dreams we need to trust amalus 
even if we send that to a lion's den, they know why. But the price sometimes might be greater. But you will need to let them lead. Man togo zisen kama gusha. Kugajen longundu andela ngumtika kazungu mezbo mwenye kunzi asu. Magwe kusbele.